Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is Collection API. The Collection API is a set of classes and interfaces that support operation on collections of objects. Say you have set of employees, say you have a set of team players, team members. So you have a um, set of nodes okay there are a lot of collection objects in your application these classes and interfaces are more flexible more powerful and more regular than vectors arrays and hash tables example of classes collection classes are hash set hash map array list link list tree set tree map an example of interfaces are collection set list and map so i have given uh, four examples here let's see one by one what it supports and what is what it doesn't so first one I've written set hash it I've created a hash it here okay of string type I've used generics here it will allow only string to be added so and I'm adding few string uh, strings here to this hash set object so the main point is hash it does not allow any duplication you should have uh, overridden equals and hash code method in your object class for example you have your own specific object say employee your company or whatever it is whatever object you want to add here if you want to use this uh, uh, use use uniquely if you want to add objects to this hash set uniquely you have to Overwrite this hash code and equals method because to compare it will use the hash code and equals method and it will add. In this example, it will not allow. See, if, if you can see in the fourth object, I'm adding a duplicate of the first object, so it will not allow the duplication. So it will have only four objects, four strings included in this hash set. That's where the power of hash set. It does not allow any duplication. Next one is hash map. Hash map is like key value. You have a key, then value. You have a key, then value. Using the key, you can query the value. Okay. So I have written an example and I'm iterating it. Whatever I've added, I'm just iterating it. You can see here map dot get key. I can use this map entry dot get value. I can use and get the uh, values. For I can iterate it. The next one is array list. It's very faster for iteration. If you want to iterate your collection collections then you can use array list but the problem is it will allow duplicate so I have added test 1 test 2 test 1 again test 3 so this is the duplicate here it will allow the duplicate but it's faster compared to other collections the last one is linked list the advantage of linked list is faster in removing and adding element in between so you have uh, a linked list for example first elements linked one and second element is link 3 uh, in future you want to you are saying that I want to add an element between link 1 and link 3 like link 2 I am adding inside ok using the index ok I can give an index here and I am saying in the second position can you please add this link 2 ok it will add immediately and it'll, it, it will be useful so for f deletion for removing you can use link list so if in your application if you are looking for a collection where you want to remove or add in between elements you can use linked list so these are the four collections let's see uh, by debugging what happens okay first one is hash it I have created a hash it here and I am adding string I told you hash it does not allow any duplication so fourth element is duplicate uh, element it will not allow since we have added and one is duplicate it will it will display only four elements let's see no duplicates okay so job portal Dream job. that's it so Java interview came only once if you see here Java interview came only once so let's move on to the hash map hash map key value you just have a key and value so based on the key I'll be getting the value so I'm just printing it out so key is 1 and value is value 1 so 
so again I'm going to go into the list I have created our list of string it will allow duplicates but very faster for iteration I have added four or four string objects I'm going to iterate it so test one test two again test one and test three so duplication is allowed the last one is link list I'm adding link I've added link one and link two and I have uh, decided that I will be adding a link to in between link one and link three so now let's see faster and removing and adding between elements so link one link two and link three so this element is added between link one and link three this is the power of link list hope this video is useful for your java into preparation thank you and all the best for your interview if you like this video please press the like button thank you